everybody, this is Corporal Kindle, starting episode 9 of Stars in Shadow as Tinkers on Hard. We ended this episode 8 yesterday, or was it the day before, with on turn 71. So I'm going to be starting that turn, that at that stopping point, turn 71. So, let's, let's get started here, let's... Set my thing to start recording. Full screen mode on. Options off. Okay, here we are back in turn 71. As you remember, or if, as you was, what happened last time was the Worthen declared war, and I was able to conquer a planet. And we took Difta from them after killing four of their destroyers and losing one in the process. There's only zero bombing the planet. I had to kill their defense. Um, I landed a tank on it to conquer the planet. We killed the building, and their population is unhappy. And that's pretty much where we ended. Got a bunch of min minus 95s here. Um, I'm in the process of transporting one of my men to the planet. This originally was a planet that I could not colonize because it was it was uncolonizable to me. But since the I've conquered a race that can occupy the planet, apparently I can move my own people in there. It would be interesting to see what my growth rate is <laughs> under those circumstances, but we'll find out. Okay, my okay that was the outpost that was at Proxima down here. They moved ships, combat ships there, so I had to retreat. I'm going to take Mandorn, since there's nothing at Mandorn. There's a planet that I can occupy, <clears throat> which I will take. Hopefully expand my range here. And I want to eventually get Tolium, and this is a very nice planet. A hive, medium, normal, high. Guess there's no no things on it, no no native population, but it has seven slots. Woo, woo, that is nice. That is very, very nice. I really want that, but it does have some um, aliens here, although it doesn't show the icon, I guess, uh, around the system, because probably because it's outside of my scanning range. Okay, so I'm going to be working on that, you know, as soon as I can. I want to get this world before someone else does. Hopefully the uh, those things can, star harpies will keep the other players off, of the other AIs, coming from this direction off them for a while, long enough for me to get enough ships and take the planet. All right, Al Gore now. What do we got here? We're building a lab. Okay, we know it's on Pell. Dizzy Books is my DD-1. Al Gore is manufacturing population that I just shuttled a million here to. Sheen Alter Shitter 3. That was the planet that's going to be my lab world. Difta 2 is the planet that I just captured. It's working on a machine altar, but it's basically no no production going on at all because the people are, are are unhappy. They got zero. The yields are all down because I'm at minus 95. Um, apparently, there's it says no chance of revolt, but I'm wondering exactly where when the chance of revolt occurs. It goes from 95 to 100, and how exactly how long. Um, much does this have to go down before we start getting production from them? Remember, they get a million for science. That would be nice to have. Okay. Food for thought there. This planet, this is the ship that dropped off my tank. Okay, and I need to build a tank on the this world at some point. Okay, we can queue that. Why don't we queue that? 25 out of 20. I might as well queue another transport ship, too. Okay, I'm working on my DD one, so we will let's queue some things here. Oh, I already got stuff queued. We got a transport, two CL, a CL and a Marine CL. Well, what I need to do is I need to put a a tank on it. Let me put a tank in between the CL and the Marine CL. If there was some way I could uh, just slip this in between. I don't know how to do that. Reorganize the queue here. Okay, I'll take CL, Marine CL. Put a tank, then we'll put our CL, Marine CL, <clears throat> Marine CL. Okay. At least I'm only one turn to getting my other D, my next DD. Okay, click off from that. 
And I think I did rush build a CL, so I'm back at four ships here. Two MDDs. Oh, two DDs. Oh, I did rush build last turn. I rush built the seal. It's just three turns away. Okay, as we remember, they got they got faster engines than me. Unfortunately, they they're they're more advanced than I am. So that's not a good thing to happen. That's why I'm really trying to push this uh, my labs and everything that I can. As a matter of fact, and I love this. Wow, 819 eight turns. Good God, but it is almost built up. I am almost built up. I am seeing a, a pretty good jump right now to 34. With this one, as I remember yesterday, I counted out 60. This should double a 30 count. 24 plus 6 for this lab would be 30. 30 double to 60. So I should see a significant jump here once this um, once this lab is built and I switch over to research-only mode. So I'm counting on that to really boost my research. And, of course, I'm still going to be working on my lab world at... Uh, Sheet R3. <sighs> okay, so now we're ready for the next turn. We got some people arriving. Do we have anybody arriving? This thing is arriving in one turn, a troop ship. I should be able to easily blow it up. Okay, so now we're going to turn 1172. Okay, so let's do this battle. Let's just waste this little turd attack. Okay, I'm going to waste. I'm gonna, I wonder if it... I don't know if I should even... It would be nice if I could capture it, if possible. I don't know if I could even do that. I gotta well, I know that I have to kill his engines before I can do that. But I don't I definitely don't want to to treat, so I'm sure it's out of my range. It's out of my range. Okay, so in turn. Well, <laughs> it just took three missiles to kill one of those. Uh, actually, that might have been it. Maybe it only would take one missile. All right, so we killed the troop ship. We fleet re fleet repaired a difta from the damage when I took the tur turn on which I conquered the planet. Okay, and this this victory difta is done. Something queued, and we completed our, another DD one. All right, I'm going to. Send the DD-1 to gather with the rest of the fleet here at Difta. All right. Al Gore is almost going to move over to 10 now. What is the population in Al Gore? We are 2 million on Al Gore. All right. I wonder if it would be worthwhile shipping one of... If I can ship one of these guys. I don't know. I don't think it's zero available at Aldebaran. Why is that? Oh, there's no, there's nothing. I think this is just showing the orbital um, movement. It, it's into immediate orbit. If you want to send one into the system using the trade pool, you would have to use this. So we know those Algorians, these um, people here, like cold worlds, right? Isn't that what they like? They're cold. Glacier world growth rate low. Okay, why well, they're, they're low on a growth or growth rate is they're Base growth rate is high. Um, I don't know. It might be. Would it be worthwhile sending some of these people to the the planet with the two point five? I don't think so. They consume food. I don't think it would be worthwhile sending one of these guys, even if I could, to the other planet because, well, first of all, their yield is low. And I already got an additional increase with the um, the bugs. Remember, this went from 0 to 2 to 0 to 6, which was a significant increase with the bugs. So as long as the bug population here stays alive, I should see an increase in, in the glacier world. And, of course, these bugs might be more useful because they have a science output. In fact, let me go to there. Let's check out there. We know their output is 0. All right. I can't tell what their... I know from the startup screen, I think they were 4.5. Was it 0.52, 1, 0.5? If I remember correctly, something like that. So their default yield race for their race is, is going to be higher. And they can, they're can they better at colonizing cold worlds. Growth rate high, base growth rate high for ice ball worlds. Okay, So they like ice ball worlds. And we need to keep that in mind in mind um for example we got a nice world here i think kilara even though i can't colonize it 
No, it's just a barren story. That is a barren world. It was Van Dorn. What kind of world? We have to air it, all right? So they're not going to like that. So we'll just have to make a mental note of that. If there's another other iceberg world here, just Aldebaran, it might be worthwhile moving moving the guys here. I don't know if I could ever get this planet. This planet right here is an, is an ice bowl, so they would definitely like this planet. Um, okay. Of course, I would probably have to terraform it first. Or maybe I can move them there. I don't know. I don't think I can move in as part of a colonization. Maybe I could put them on a colony module or colony ship and land on that planet and maybe I'll get it, but I don't know. You know, I don't know if it will allow me since they're now part of my side and not their side, and my side can't colonize those type of planets. Those are good questions. Okay, so everything's in, in construction. Let's go to the next turn. And as soon as when Al Gore... Well, I can ship. I still got 20. I can actually send one to 25. I can use one more trade ship to move. Oh, God, I forgot to get the egg, egg timer. Hold on. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I just can't remember the clock. <laughs> I'm going to set it for 25, assuming it's been f five minutes. Okay, so where was I? I'm getting ready to go to the next turn. Everything's under the construction, and they're going to have another ship coming here. I don't know if I can. Ki I don't know if I'm going to kill it before it can retreat, but we'll we'll give it a go. Next turn. Okay, so we got a combat, and we also got nano computers. Let's let's do the combat first, because I think I don't. I'll do the do this out, but I don't think I can. Um, how do you select all? Was it um, control left click, control right click? No, shift left click. No shift. I don't know. I, I'm not getting. It's not coming in. Okay, there's a way you can move all the ships at once. I oh, there we go. On left shift, left click, shift, left click. Okay, let's make a note of that. Shift, left click. I can select all the ships, and then move the whole group forward. Shift, left click. I'm gonna write that down because I'm not gonna remember that. Shift, left click, left click. All right, to move the entire fleet. Okay. And we'll fire. Wonder if they'll all fire. <laughs> okay, that's that's good. The coil guns will be out of range. He's pro. I he I will bet you money. This guy is going to retreat. In turn, yeah, just what I thought. Okay, so they were able to escape again. This guy escaped earlier. That one I should have had. I should have been able to destroy this troop ship. That was the first battle. Okay. All right, so we do. We got a victory. We know that. We can dismiss that. We got our research done. So let us go to research. What am I getting now? Three, four, five, twenty-four plus five is twenty-nine. Twenty-nine total. All right. We do have a, a jump here, a significant jump. So these things shouldn't be as f far away as I would originally. So what is self-organizing next? Fourteen terms. That is, you know, at least it's much more reasonable now. Duranium 11, industrial automation, industrial automation. Now that, that is probably what I'm going to go for right now. <clears throat> Although I really need to think about tachyon, tachyon physics, expanding range of four, because right now that their other colony is out of my range. Ooh, should I get automation first, then tachyon? So close. So close, so close. I think I will. I think I need to get the automation, and then I'll go to tacking and try to get that that additional range from the um, the range from the the um, you know get my movement range, strategic range is what I was thinking of. 
It's only 12 turns, and that should go down some when that other fact when that other lab gets built. So we'll click industrial automation. Okay, and as a matter of fact, now what is small craft? Small craft is only three turns. I'm going to actually try to queue this. It's only three turns, and then we'll go to tachyon. So what I'm doing is, is I, sh I set the bullet on that. I moved it to small craft. I'm going to queue small craft. As you see, one to two. Then I'm going to go to tachyon physics and queue that for three. So I'm going one, two, three. It'll just automatically do those three. The goal of tachyon physics, of course, is to get to the um, the, the hyperspace buoys that, that increase my strategic range. So we'll click off from that. These things are getting a lot more within my reasonable cost. It's my, my research has gone up considerably now that I've built some labs. Okay, and my transport will arrive in one turn. I'll see a population increase at DIFTA. It should go up to one, actually it's something like 1.9 with the bug. So, so without further ado, let's go to the next turn, 1173 to 1174. All righty, transports arrived at DIFTA. Our transports have arrived at DIFTA. Ships return to trade. Click off. Let's, let us go to, to DIFTA. It's two out of six. Okay, the orphans must have grown to one million. Yeah, but they, their, their growth rate, their organic growth rate pushed them over a million, so I'm looking at two now. Remember, it was zero last turn, but they were really 999,000. And we got a million of my guys. So now I'm getting growth, 75 turns. Of course, I'm blockaded. Why is that? Well, they moved those two, their two little cruisers. Normally, when you're blockaded, your guys will start starving, but these guys have their own in-house in food supply because they get a food supply on the planet. If there wasn't one on the planet, they, I would probably see a negative, um, you know, some kind of growth decrease, starvation. You know, this could actually go into the minus, I believe, if a planet is blockaded and it doesn't have food and the people on the planet need food. Okay, so I'm in within a reasonable number here. I can get, well, I wouldn't call 75 reasonable, but it's better than nothing. Of course, I want to move another pop one of my guys here and get it to cut this down to 30. If I'm maybe even three guys, eventually three guys, I should say. So so I'm going to send another guy from Aldebaran, or Al Gore, I should say. <clears throat> okay, I'm at 2.2 .2 million, so we'll take one guy and send him to one of my guys. So you can see one of those guys, because it does show a plus. I don't want to send those guys, though. And we will move. We'll move to um, you know, the Difta machine, the planet that I just conquered. Three turns. Okay. So we got another one going. All right. So now we got the Orthon encounter. Okay. I'm going to... Um, I don't believe that they're going to fight this out. They're going to retreat again. So I'm just going to click the auto combat because I'm like pretty much 99.99% sure they're just going to retreat. Auto combat. And yeah, they retreated. Both their ships are auto retreated. So they're not just going to stupidly fight a battle that they can't win. Uh, <clears throat> and of course, remember, their ships do have do have missiles now. Their, their things have missiles. You have lasers, two lasers, and two... Well, this has two lasers now. I thought it had two missiles. Maybe they have a, two, a couple, a different version. Titanium armor, warplane, bulkheads. This ship does have two lasers. Um, that's interesting. Okay, so they, there must be a mix here of... Um, see, this one has two nuclear missiles, and it has deflector screens, so this is obviously a much a more recent version they have deflector screens. Well, that is... Oh, my God. They get to rain in armor, too. Uh, they're getting tech here. They're, they're outpacing me to some extent in some techs. Boy, I need these labs up quickly. 104. I wonder if I can rush build this. I need 505 turns. I don't... I think five turns. I'll just have to let it... I mean, <clears throat> it's, you know... 504 for five turns. I can let it go five turns. I got a lot of construction on that planet. It wouldn't be worth the huge amount of 
coins that it would cost. Not to mention that I'm not close. I'll probably have to get it down to two turns to cost a hundred. Okay. <clears throat> so let's set this back on my planetary default. And I'm ready for the next turn. Next turn, eleven seventy-five. Okay, so we got another combat here. Another one of their exploration vessels showed up. What is this guy on about? Two nukes and a deflector screen, duranium. All right, so we're starting to see more uh, advanced ships coming in. They're not going to fight, though, so I'm just going to auto-combat it, and they'll retreat again. Auto-combat. And they retreat. Okay, so we'll click off from that. What did we get? Or Dizabix, we got our... Completion, completion year. Tanks was completed. All right. We'll be CL. So we're, on, we're finally getting our back to our CLs now. Tank was completed. So I'm going to load my tank into this empty. Well, we got a troop ship and a transport ship. I'm going to the transport ship, dump into the trade pool. It's going to increase my trade up to 3020 or trade pool. And I'm going to load the tank. Notice that it's yellow. When it has a yellow band when it's empty. Notice that. So we're going to go to our planet. See this tank? I'm going to click the up arrow, which will load it. Okay, it went off the planet and onto the uh, troop ship. So now the troop ship does not have a yellow band, which shows that it's loaded. Disembark. See, it says disembark colonists. So I'm going to move the troop ship down to gather with the rest of the fleet. Should have two troop ships here now. Oh, one turn. I don't have. What happened? Did I ever get that other troop ship? I could have sworn I had two troop ships queued somewhere. Did I just completely forget to move that in the queue again? I bet you I did that, didn't I? I must have took the queues, eliminated the troop ship from the queue when I thought when I was reordering it. So, <laughs> my bad. Let me put the troop ship back in. All right, or add a troop ship to the queue. Any troop ship, okay. Not forget that. And then I'm here now. Um, how long does it take to build a colony ship, by the way? Because I could put a colony ship on that one planet. Uh, I don't know if that would be the best use of my resources, of course, because they're going to take a long time, and they're going to be building ships. Their, their ships have more advanced tech than I do, so it would probably be more worthwhile to build a couple more DDs anyway, or at least MDDs, I'm thinking. Maybe one DD... And one MDD. Okay. So I should have something like eight DDs and three cruisers fleet, size fleet, once that's done. Okay, my, my transport arrived at DIFTA, didn't it? It's, it's trans oh, no, that was just the one I assigned to trade duty. Okay, we know we assigned it to trade duty. We know we finished our tank. That was the tank that was completed, okay. So let's exit that from the queue. Okay, everything's under construction. So let's go again. Next turn, 1176. Okay, 1176 has been completed. There are no news reports. One turn from my guy to arrive. Oh, my, my ship did arrive at Mendorn. Okay, so I'm gonna put my asteroid ship on around and to set it to orbit. All right, we can now get to two more planets. I need, where did my scout ship go? Huh. Well, that's, that is funny. Where did my scout ship go? Is that my scout ship? Explore why in the earth is it way up here? Did I move it up here? I must have moved it up here. <laughs> okay. Uh, for some reason, I don't remember doing that. I thought I moved it. I thought I kept it down here. All right, so that was my bad. I'm going to have to send my explorer. I'll send my explorer to start exploring these other planets that I can. Probably be worthwhile investing in another explorer, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, and my fleet is growing. We got a CL. We got six here now. And we got another transport. That's my. That's a transport carrying my population to DIFTA. Okay. So we're ready for another turn. Turn 1176. Let's go to 1177. 
Okay, so my guy arrived, my transport arrived at Difta, so my, my planet should have grown again. That planet should have grown. Difta. Three out of six. Okay, and we are down at 36 turns. Three million, two million of my guys, one million of their. Are they still upset? Well, at least they're down to 69 now. This planet lacks a machine altar. Well, that's interesting. It doesn't say that I can't harmonize these people, so I wonder if that means I can harmonize them. And once I can harmonize them, once I get a machine altar. Remember, the other one said I could not harmonize the Yeti race nor the, the plant race, but this one just says it lacks a machine altar. It doesn't say that I can't harmonize them. So I'm going to assume that probably means I can harmonize them. Well, that would be cool. You know, I'll have to, um, well, I'll think about that when, the, when, the, when the, you know, I got a while before this thing gets built. In the meantime, I wonder if I can send another million of my people to the planet. I wonder if it'll let me send another million of my people from Al Gore. Al Gore, how many people do I have in Al Gore? Okay, 1.6, so... Let's go ahead and send a guy from Al Gore. Send one of mine back. Move. All right, to Shidar. I, oh, what am I saying? Um, Difta, I mean, Difta. No, zero. Oh, right. I could only put two of my population. Okay, it's not letting me put more population there. All right, because I did reach my two. Remember, it was two out of six. It was a two planet for me the extra six they got six because they're they their people are specialized for that world mine aren't so i can't send more people here so i'm going to have to send them to shidar and the machine i'm going to go ahead and send them to the planet my lab world eta4 okay and that's that's fine i'll let's i'll just i'll let al gore grow for a while and then you know, I'll ship people to Shidar, see if I can build up my um, my lab colony, you know. Okay, I mean, I don't have any other planets. I need to start conquer. I wish I could conquer that planet. I'm still far away. 35. Um, how far am I from that lab now? It's I'm only two turns away, 189. <laughs> 187, you know. Okay, so there's not much I can do there, but it will switch over to research in two turns, which is good. As you should see a dramatic research improvement. Hoping this goes up in the 80, 90 range if I'm lucky. Because I really need that. I really, really, really need that extra science right now. So, let's go to the next turn. 1177, we are going to 78. Okay. We got moving back and forth over here. Ooh, we got a f four f exploration vessel fleet and a troop ship. Troop ship. It looks they're one turn from an unknown star. Well, they're moving around here, aren't they? That's interesting. They're moving down into my per southern flank peripheral areas. I wonder if they're going to make a push down here. Wouldn't be surprised. That would be a real, a real bummer. Trying to use my flanks. Of course, we'll get someone else moving this way. A colony ship. Huh. I can't... They got, a, they got a colony ship moving into Proxima. I wonder if they can colonize this place now. Bare and small rich. I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be really surprised if they already got terraforming technology, too. And what do we got here? We just got an exploration. I just can't... It really would be nice if I could just move this fleet from here to here. <laughs> <laughs> I would, that would be so cool. I just can't, I just gotta, you know, can't do it. Mm. I just can't do it because I need, my my out my range isn't uh, far enough. I need to get that, that exploration tech is what I really need. So what completed is Shidar? My machine altar. All right, I did get my machine altar at Shidar 3, my lab world. We're nine turns now to my first lab. Okay, and we got 3.7 million over here, plus 37 a turn. Okay, 37, 26. I sh should see one more, because these guys aren't fully. Um, the the it's got a machine altar, but it is not fully staffed. 
So I'm still one million, probably one off from that. This should probably be 27, around 27 once I get my million guys. But I did send a million guys from here, which should get there in three turns. So we'll see a little boost there in Shidar in, a, in momentarily. All right. So let's go another turn. Ooh, another CL is on its way. You who Dizzy Book's next turn. All right, so let's go. Let's go to the next turn. Eleven seventy nine. All right, all right. Oh my God, war declared. Oh my God, did they declare war on me too? Oh, the T Rose have declared war on the Earth. Oh, <laughs> the T Rose have declared war on the Earth. And so here we go. We got a two way war now. Well, at least they didn't declare war on me. Really don't want to be at war with, war with them, you know. Though it would be nice to if I could jump on this planet, but I don't know what they, or what do they have? The last time I checked in, they had uh, nine ships, if I believe. I can, let's let's check them out. Let's see what they got now. The Ashtar, contact them. They got ten planets, nine ships, six stars, ten planets, nine ships, thirty-one million people. 31 million. How many people do I got? 24. <clears throat> 24 plus 9. Um, 33. 33 plus 6 is 39. Still got uh, about 8 more mi 8 million more people than they do, even though I got a lower a lower growth rate than them, base growth rate, because I'm really concentrating on manufacturing population. Okay. That's interesting. So they got nine ships. Nine ships. Wish I had some kind of uh, gauge as to how much, how many, um, you know, what kind of science advance they have. They're in, sitting on a stockpile of 928. 928 steel. Wow, that's big. And they got a plus 51 going with their, um, with their coin. Okay, plus 51. That is interesting. Very interesting. Okay, 928 stockpile. Wow. Well, I got 505 now. But, you know, as I mentioned, my, my Dizabix is going over to ships. But I fully filled out my um, Aldebaran mineral-rich uh, planet with the four, four mines here. So I'm getting a considerable jump right here. I mean, I'm, I'm staying ahead of the, even though I'm building ships, I'm still in the plus. That's very good. 48 and 24, that's 72. Getting a 72 output for um, mine, mining, and I'm probably going to increase that in a minute in this place. this I can put four more here, four more industries. This is just a small world. So I'm probably just going to make it a... Uh, I don't know, probably the best thing to do would be a well-rounded world, right? <laughs> I'm thinking a factory, a, maybe a mine and a lab and a market. What kind of thing is it? What kind of planet? It's mineral normal, okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just a planet that I wasn't really counting on having. I'll just make it a well-rounded world, a little bit of each, because I kind of need a little bit of each. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, that was my my guys sh shuttling people from uh, Aldebaran here. Okay. So these two guys are at war. Very interesting. I mean, I did kill four of their ships. They were only DDs. You know, I would think that they probably replaced, probably built one or two by now, and they do have more advanced technology. I think these guys are trying to move in on my, uh, trying to take these planets out from under me. I can't, you know, I really can't allow that. I mean, I can't, I cannot let these guys get strong. These are the, probably the one guys you really don't want to get strong. These are the guys with the carriers. In fact, I want to, after I go to hit them, I want to think about taking them out, and I want to get this planet down here. That was the, <clears throat> this is the big planet that I can use for industry because it has such a high population. That's going to be a long-term growth, though. If I could get to it, I really need to get to it. Jeez, if I could just, if I could move these even to here, I need that. Um, I really need that. Uh, that this the range, you know, to increase the range. <sighs> Man, 
Okay. All right, so let's get it. We're ready for another turn 79. Let's go do turn 80. Next turn. All right, it is turn 80. There was no news. No news at all. I got three turns for my scout to get to this yellow planet, which is probably one of their worlds. But nothing else is happening that I can see. There, they got this here. They got a, their colony ship arrived. Oh, what do I have here? Oh, I did. That was the CL that completed last turn. So let's get him down here. And I'm working my Marine CL. Okay. So I'm, you know, by the time I'm able to move out here, I should have a pretty sizable fleet. You know, I might be able to do, I don't know if it would be a lot smart to do a two-way battle to get these guys. Maybe I should move, I'll have to think about that. I mean, this is something I really need. Um, I don't know, what is it going to take to knock out six, six of those, um, those, those bug, those, um, animal things, aliens. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe three, 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 um, missile destroyers, something like that. I should think about that. I'm adding three missile destroyers to my fleet when I can. Uh, manufacturing population. Okay. So we're all set to go to turn 80. Uh, thing, lab, machine alter, overpopulation, marine, CL1, and research. Okay, my research is booting along right here. Quick. Should get that, um, what should I get? I should get the, um... Oh, wait a minute. Am I on Tachyon? No, industrial automation. I want to... Oh, and there goes the clock. Okay, so this is the ending point for this this uh, session. Okay, we are in turn 1180. It's turn 1180. This was episode 9. So I want to hope everybody has a great day. You know, um, take it easy. Have a great day. And, I'll, and I'm going to be immediately starting episode... Um, 10 here coming up, so let me get to the options. Okay, so this is Corporal Kindle signing off for episode 9. Take it easy. Bye. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?